Okay, another day, another virtual yoga. Um, this is class, I believe, 22. Um, I need a haircut. I'm not sure about you. The little wings are starting to develop there. And uh, as for today's theme, going back to the yamas and niyamas, the 10 guidelines of the yogic practice to live a more practical and um, full and robust and amazing life. And the third one is brahmacharya, which translates to non-excess. Essentially, we get too greedy or too needy or too excessive within our life. Um, so, for example, it could be that you're working too much. It's too excessive. It's making you tired. You're um, drinking and eating like crap. It's too excessive. It's really wearing down your body and your mind. Um, things like that. So <clears throat> what stood out in the book was it was saying that, you know, when we live in that excess, it can be very distracting and it can be very detrimental to our sense of character and spirit. And so when we live in a place of that simplicity, it makes us more aware and more connected to that divine within ourself and that divine in the outside world and that divine as in God, universe, spirit, whatever it is that um, you connect with on a higher level. So thinking about that in your daily life, the areas where you're excessive or obsessive or just, you know, it's too much is too much. Um, and then using your practice as a way to release some of that tension and stiffness and um, to feel really good in your body and your mind. All right, so practice number 22, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so in your practice today, you start wherever you wanna start. You go child's pose, you go on your back, Shavasana, Supta Baddha Konasana, a ragdoll position, maybe you come to your mat in a standing Tadasana, but whatever you go to, you're gonna take five really deep breaths there, five really deep breaths. I'm gonna start in uh, Tadasana, I'm gonna switch up my own practice Feet together here, arms to the sides, relaxing into my shoulders, softening into my face. Five deep breaths. And then wherever you are, make your way to a downward facing dog, whatever that looks like for you. When you get to downward facing dog, find your feet. Find your hands. Feel the feet beginning to stretch, a little bit of circulation to the feet and to the legs. Feel the hands beginning to stretch, a little circulation to the palms and to the fingers. rock out a little bit of breath and movement. High plank, low plank, high plank, and downward facing dog. High plank, inhale, low plank, exhale, high plank, inhale, 
downward facing dog, exhale. Three more rounds, high plank, low plank, high plank, and downward facing dog. High plank, low plank, high plank, and downward facing dog. One more now, high plank, low plank, high plank, and downward facing dog. Hey, walk your feet up to your hands for a really quick rag doll. Spread your feet about hips width distance. If you want, you can grab the backs of your heels or your legs. Take three exhales here. Fingertips to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep your arms all the way up, and palms to heart center, exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Be sure to stay intact with your breath. Let's take two sun salutations. Raise your heels, bend your knees, walk or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, palms to heart center, exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. If you want, pedal out the feet, pedal out the knees. And let's go again, raise your heels, bend your knees, walk or hop to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and palms to heart center, exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take two awesome breaths here. Okay, lift your right leg up into the sky, right knee to the chest, hug in here. Right leg, take it high, and step your right foot forward Drop the back knee for crane. Really take advantage of that stretch in the back leg. And if you want a little more depth in the back leg, then you can bend this right knee a tad more. Standing split, fingertips to the ground. Split your left leg up into the sky. Fold deep into that right leg. Chair pose, Bukatasana. Left foot meets the right. Either you can take your arms up or feel free to cactus your arms here. Okay, left arm forward, right arm back, open arm twist. 
keeping your right foot down, lift your left foot up about six to eight inches. And then step your left foot back for open arm, crescent twist. Get your balance and then reverse revolve. Right hand back a left leg, left fingertips up. And high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hey, left leg, take it to the sky. Left knee to the chest, squeeze in. Left leg, take it high, and step your left foot forward, drop the back knee for crane. Take full advantage of that back, that stretch in the back leg. And if you want a little more depth, you bend your left knee a little bit more. Standing split, fingertips to the mat. Take that right leg up into the sky. Stretch deep into the left leg. Chair pose, Bukatasana. Right foot meets the left. Relax into the knees. And then right arm forward, left arm back. Keeping that left foot down, take your right knee up. And then step your right foot back for open arm crescent twist. There you go. Reverse, revolve, right fingertips go up. And then high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, we're very analytical people. We tend to complicate things. Um, and just like it says in the book, sometimes that analyzing, that complication can make things excessive and it pulls us out of the present moment, that divinity within ourselves, that divinity in the outside world. Let's take this flow a couple rounds through. Right leg, take it high. Right knee to the chest. Use your abs. Right leg, take it high. And step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee for crane. Sweeping up on the inhale. Breathe. Standing split on the exhale. Chair pose. Ukatasana. Inhale. Left arm forward. Right arm back. Exhale. Right foot down, left knee up. Inhale. Step it back. Open arm. Exhale. Reverse revolve, left fingertips up. Inhale. And high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it to the sky. Left knee to the chest. Left leg, take it high, and step your left foot forward, drop your back knee for crank. Sweeping up on the inhale, standing split on the exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana, inhale. Right arm forward, left arm back. Left foot down, right knee up, inhale. Step it back, open arm, exhale. Reverse, revolve, inhale, and high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Now remember, your breath is number one priority. If you're out of it, or if your mind is just jumping around, catch yourself doing that and bring it back to the breath. Right leg, take it to the sky. Right knee, right tricep, or excuse me, to the chest. Right leg, take it high. And step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee for crane. Breathe. 
cruising up on that inhale. Standing split on the exhale. Chair pose. Ukatasana inhale. Left arm forward, right arm back. Right foot down, left knee up, inhale. Step it back, open arm, exhale. Reverse revolve, inhale. And high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it high. Left knee toward the chest. Left leg, take it high and step your left foot forward. Drop your back knee for crane. Cruising up on the inhale. Standing split on the exhale. Chair pose. Ukatasana. Inhale. Right arm forward. Left arm back. Right knee comes up. Inhale. Step it back. Open arm. Exhale. Reverse revolve, inhale, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. That was two rounds. We're going to do one more round. Keep your breath going. Right leg, take it high. Right knee towards the chest. Right leg, take it high, and step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee for crane. Rising up on the inhale, standing split on the exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana, inhale. Left arm forward, right arm back. Left knee comes up, inhale. Step it back, exhale. Reverse revolve, inhale. And high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Very good job. Left leg, take it high. Left knee to the chest. Left leg, take it high. And step your left foot forward. Drop the back knee, crane. Cruising up on the inhale. Standing split on the exhale. Chair pose. Ukatasana, inhale. Right arm forward, left arm back. Right knee comes up, inhale. Step it back, exhale. Reverse revolve, inhale. And high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So I did a Facebook post and an Instagram post about ever since we've been encouraged to wear masks, is it not like the most itchy your face or your nose has ever been in your entire life? It's, it's outrageous, it's excessive, right? So hopefully you can relate to that, the craziness of this quarantine we're going through. You can just kind of laugh it off, brush it off. All right, come into a high plank, and then take your right palm down for a side plank. If you need to drop to the right knee, that is definitely an option. Okay, stay with me. Left fingertips to right wrist, exhale. Left arm up, inhale. 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 Right wrist, exhale. Left arm up, inhale to high plank. Hold here now. Okay, left palm down, side plank, Vashisthasana. If you need to drop to the left knee, go ahead and do it. Stay with me, right fingertips, left wrist, exhale, right arm up, inhale, left wrist, exhale, right arm up, inhale, left wrist, exhale, right arm up, inhale, 
Left wrist, exhale. Right arm up, inhale. Left wrist, exhale. Right arm up, high plank. Hold here. Hold here now. Right knee, right tricep, exhale. High plank, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, exhale. High plank, inhale. Keep this pattern going all by yourself. Simple, controlled, good breath. Nothing excessive, just here and now. If you have an injury, be mindful. We got 10 more seconds here. Six, five, four, three, two, and downward facing dog. Walk your feet up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold. Exhale, gorilla, spread your feet hips width distance, and then slide your palms right underneath your feet. Drop into your shoulders. We've been looking at screens a lot lately given the quarantine situation and it's hard not to sort of lift up your head. Let your head drop nice and heavy. And then release from the bottoms of the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold. Exhale. Stand up tall. Sweep the arms high. Inhale. And palms to heart center. Exhale. Okay, bend your knees. Bring your fingertips into the ground. And then sweep your arms up for chair. Okay, draw the palms together at heart center. Listen closely. With your right foot down, cross your left ankle over your right knee. Figure four chair. And then one of two options. Either stay as you are here, palms together, or you can take a twist to the right, to the left elbow. You'd be pressing into the bottom of the left foot. Slowly stand up tall as you pull your left knee up and in. Breathe to either warrior three or airplane pose. Whoa, yeah, I just fell out. Maybe you fell out. Don't be excessive about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Just come back into the pose. For a ball half moon, left fingertips down. Right fingertips go up. And then left foot meets the right. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold. Exhale. Step the right foot to the back of the mat for a warrior two. Take up some great space on the mat. And you're here for three exhales. Straighten the left leg, reverse the triangle, left fingertips up to side angle pose. Bend the left knee, left fingertips down, right fingertips up. Breathing. If you want to take a half or a full bind, you can. I'm going to go for the half bind today. Then keeping that left knee bent, reverse the warrior. Come back up to standing split again. The right leg up into the sky. Now if you want, you can draw your palms together at heart center little balancing variation there. Okay, stay with me. Balancing half moon. Left fingertips down and right limbs will go up. 
Keep breathing here. And then without letting your back leg touch the ground, eagle pose. Use your balance, you have to use your core strength. Right thigh over, right arm under. There I went again, I fell out. Yeah, it's a little irritating at the moment, but not that big of a deal. Right foot to the ground, sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Hey, raise the heels, bend the knees, and jump through the sit, right onto your butt. Extend your legs to the front of the room, get tall in your spine, and then hinge forward as you fold over the legs. Take two deep breaths here. And then nicely sit up, you'll roll all the way onto your back as you hug your knees into your chest. And then right into bicycle crunches. Little hands behind the neck and head. You bring your right elbow to your left knee and then crunch to the other side. Twist. These are good old fashioned abs. Nothing crazy, nothing out of control, but good fundamentals. Contract it in your abs. Breathing. And about another 20 seconds to go here. Keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll front to back, front to back into that downward facing dog. Right back into it here. Raise the heels, bend the knees, walk or hop to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold. Exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and palms to heart center. Exhale. Okay, bend the knees, bring the fingertips into the ground, and then sweep those arms up for chair. Draw the palms together at heart center. With your left foot down, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Either keep the palms together like this, or you can take that twist if you want. Slowly stand up tall as you pull your right knee up and in to either warrior three or airplane pose. Warrior three, the arms are straight forward. It's a tough pose, y'all. Okay, and then revolve half moon. Right fingertips down. Left fingertips go up. Set your drishti, breathe. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat for warrior two. Take up some great space here. Three deep breaths. Straighten the right leg, reverse the triangle to that side angle pose. Great finger 
fingertips down, left fingertips high. Any variation here, y'all. We're here to four to six breaths. Left arm goes behind the back. I'm doing a half bind here. You do what you want to do. Make it authentic to you. Don't necessarily go with what I'm going. And then keeping that right knee bent. Reverse the warrior. Take it back up to standing split again. So left leg will go up. Hey now. If you want, you can draw those palms together at heart center. A little bit of balancing there. And then without letting the back leg hit the ground, you'll slowly stand up tall into that eagle. So left thigh over, left arm under. Keep your elbows about shoulders height and then focus your eyes as you breathe. Left foot to the ground, sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and hide some low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. I'm sorry, y'all, in that sequence that we just did, from standing split, we were supposed to go into balancing half moon, then eagle. So, if you want to press pause and do your balancing half moon, do it. If not, no big deal. Even us yoga instructors forget stuff sometimes. And then raise the heels, bend the knees, walk or hop to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and palms to heart center, exhale. Bend the knees, bring the fingertips into the ground, and then sweep the arms up for chair. Okay, draw the palms together at heart center, and then prayer twist to the right. So left elbow on that right thigh. Think about your abs and your core getting stronger. Staying exactly as you are with your right foot down, lift your left foot up six to eight inches, and then step your left foot back for prayer twist crescent lunge. If you want to stretch the arms open, you can. And then crescent lunge, come back to center. And warrior two, open up. Triangle pose, straighten the right leg and right fingertips down, left fingertips high. If you want, you can take a half bind, maybe a full bind there. And then pyramid pose, fingertips to the ground, scooch that back foot up a little bit. So you fold into the right leg. Standing split again, take that left leg up into the sky. And then stay with me, curtsy bow. So bend the right knee, left knee behind the right calf. Either you can keep your fingertips down or you can go palms together at heart center here. Just breathe. And then stay with me, balancing half moon inhale. Curtsy bow, exhale. Balancing half moon inhale. Curtsy bow, exhale. Balancing half moon, inhale. Curtsy bow, exhale. Balancing half moon, inhale. 
curtsy bow, exhale. Balancing half moon, hold here and breathe. Stay with me without letting that back leg hit the ground. Slowly stand up tall as you pull your left knee up and in. And then either right hand, left knee and hold, or right hand outside of left foot for dancing Shiva. You straighten the left leg and the left arm goes back. Focus and breathe. Left foot to the ground, sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's come into a high plank here, and then hit a forearm plank. Yeah, strong in the elbows and the forearms, and then stay with me, high plank, inhale, forearm plank, exhale, high plank, inhale, forearm plank, exhale, high plank, inhale, forearm plank, exhale. Keep this pattern going all by yourself here. Little by little, breathing, doing your best, modifying where you need. Okay, finish out your last round as you end up in a high plank position holding here. Whew. Slide forward on the tiptoes, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. As a team, take a nice deep breath in. And exhale through your mouth. Okay, raise the heels, bend the knees, walk or hop through the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high and palms to heart center, exhale. Bend the knees, bring the fingertips into the ground, and then sweep those arms up for chair. Draw the palms together at heart center, and then prayer twist to the left. Yeah, you gotta love good quality twists. Staying exactly as you are with the left foot down, lift your right foot up about six inches, and then step back for prayer twist, crescent lunge. If you wanna shoot the arms up, you can. Might feel good. Crescent lunge, come to center, and then warrior two, open up here. Triangle pose, straighten the left leg, left fingertips down, right fingertips up. If you want, maybe a half or a full bind here. Pyramid pose, fingertips to the ground. Scooch that back foot up about a foot here. Legs are straight, fold into the left leg. Let your head drop heavy. Let some of that excessiveness drop out of your body and your mind. Standing split again. To curtsy bow, right knee behind the left calf. Breathing to balancing half moon, inhale, curtsy bow, exhale. 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 
balancing half moon hold here, breathe. Without letting the back leg hit the ground, slowly stand up tall as you pull that right knee up and in to major rep pose. Either left hand, right knee hold, or take your dancing Shiva. Right foot to the mat. Maybe pedal it out a little bit, sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Raise the heels, bend the knees, jump through to sit again. Extend your legs to the front of the room, scoot your butt back a little bit, and then take that forward fold over the legs. Nicely sit up, you'll roll all the way onto your back as you hug your knees into your chest. Only here for a minute, let's get those bicycle crunches going again, so about 50 of them. Just a smooth transitioning, work your abs. Keep breathing. here. Well done. Okay, then think about eagle pose. You're going to cross your right thigh over your left, scoot your hips a lot over to the right, and then drop your knees over to the left. So this is a spinal twist, but with the eagle legs, it creates a little bit deeper of a stretch in your hips and in your twists. Think of this as your hip opener for the day. Soften into your spine. Soften into your jaw. And then switch the sides. You'll come back to center. Cross your left thigh over your right, scoot your hips a little to the left, and then drop your knees over to the right. Be here for about a little less than a minute. Soften into your spine. Let your shoulders soften a little bit. And then nicely come back to center. Just unravel. Whew. Hug your knees into your chest. And then let's go one bridge or one wheel, feet into the ground. I'm going to do a wheel pose today. I feel like that's going to amp up my energy a little. Stretch through your belly and your chest. If you have a block at home and you want to do a restorative bridge, you can do that. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale lower to the ground. So Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet connect, knees drop open to the sides of the room. Soften into your heart. And I 
together. You can stay here for your Shavasana today. Or you can go to a traditional Shavasana for final rest. Take two deep breaths here. If you're in Supta, draw your knees together, squeeze your knees into your chest. If you're in Shavasana, maybe a little good morning stretch there. And then either you can drop over to the left or to the right side. And then press yourself up into a seated position. Drawing the palms together at heart center. We'll cap off our practice today with one sacred om. Take a nice deep breath in. Oh. I see, I acknowledge, and I honor the light and the truth that is within you because that light and truth also resides within me. And today in our practice, we learn the importance of not being so excessive. Breathing, being present, being in the moment. Experiencing the divinity and the grace of it all. Thank you so much for coming to practice today. Namaste. All right, wonderful to practice with you all again. We'll keep the YouTube classes going. We started doing some Zoom classes and I did order a mic. I know some people said it's a little hard to hear. So, um, Hopefully we'll get that in tune very, very soon. All right, talk to you soon. Have a great day.